Today I will be testing out the Angelink 6 port USB desktop charger with uh, Qualcomm Quick Charge port 2.0 uh, and Type-C port for faster charging. Now, uh, I don't have any quick charge capable devices so basically uh, I have iPads and iPhones my, and camera and a um, one of those uh, Bluetooth jukeboxes so I will be uh, testing charging those out this will be installed in a little teardrop camper that I had just picked up as I'm um, trying to keep power consumption to a minimum uh, no TV so just uh, iPad Netflix for uh, video if we're gonna watch something um, and of course need to charge the phones and my camcorders and cameras so this works out perfect some of you might remember that I had previously, uh, actually it was last summer, uh, tested out the, the uh, JDB uh, desktop charger, which is similar, but had uh, two quick, uh, a regular USB, one quick charge, and a laptop port. A uh, laptop meaning a regular power output for a full-size laptop computer. Uh, but in this case, what I needed was multiple USB ports, and this is it. So today we're going to test this out with uh, iPad 2, iPad mini, first gen, iPhone 6s, iPhone 5s, and I iPhone 4s, and my jukebox plus uh, my 1080p camera. Um, I wanted to test it out with both my 1080 and my 4K camera. However, um, I'm recording with my 4K camera, so that's not going to work. So why don't we unbox this? And just some of the specs, let me read out to you. Total max output for all six char um, USB ports is 5 volts at 10 amp. Uh, the Type-C output is 5 volts at 3 amp. Uh, and the Quick Charge 2.0 output is 5 volts at 2 amp, 9 volts at 2 amp, or 12 volts at 1.5 amps. Total power for the unit is 50 watts, so it can supply up to 50 watts of power. So, and it says compatible for iPhone, MacBook, uh, tablets, Samsung uh, phones, Android phones, support six ports, smart charge at the same time, uh, charging devices at very high efficiency. We can test some of the efficiency. I got my kilowatt meter here. So we'll see um, how much power goes into the unit um, and how efficient it can make, converts that to usable power that recharges our products. Now they have a little thank you card in here. Uh, if you're satisfied, great. Write an Amazon review. Unsatisfied, uh, just contact the service. And they got their service contact information as well as uh, a bonus uh, link to be able to get discounts off future orders, so on and so forth. Nice little touch. A lot of times it's hard to get in contact with companies when you need support. Here's the unit. Slightly larger than I was expecting, but considering that it's 50 watt, it um, makes sense. Um, although if you consider it, uh, the 2 amp 5 volt charger for the iPad is already that big and the same thickness. So they're actually packing quite a bit into this little unit. So um, on the back side, it not only lists the uh, available power um, outputs, uses a standard uh, the rounded edge type plugs and it is a uh, switching power supply so that means you can use it on 110 volt all the way up to well actually 100 volt all the way up to 240 because they gotta include Japan and there's Japan's at 100 instead of 120 or 130 like the US, Canada. Uh, they have the owner's manual which it's come on it's pretty self-explanatory USB is USB Nicely packaged, and uh, this is also Amazon Prime. So actually, I had this the same day I ordered it. Ordered it in the morning and it arrived in the evening. So plug it into my kilowatt. <coughs> Set it for watts, and plug it in. Let's see, do we have any lights or anything? 
Yep, we have a blue light right in the middle there. Now, um, the first five, the first four ports are just your standard USB. Uh, and then there's a red port, which is should be the uh, the quick charge. Actually, it is the quick charge. Flip the directions to the English side. Just want to confirm. Yep, quick charge is for the red. This is the one that does five, nine, or twelve volts. And then your USB Type C. I haven't run across any devices yet that use the USB Type C, and I definitely don't own any. Uh, so. Uh, the quick charge port for your non-quick charge items will still be used exactly the same way as uh, a standard USB port. So if you don't own a quick charge product, you can still use the USB port there for standard usage. So let's also plug in. I have my little voltage meter there. Let's see, it's a little bright. 5.21 volts, 5.21, 5.21, 5.21, and quick charge is 4.98, and I can't test the USB-C, sorry. So let's put this into the quick charge port. Uh, let's start with plugging in. Let's do the iPad 2 and just see. Now, the battery in the iPad 2 is fairly full. It says 100%, even though I was using it. I watched about 30 minutes of a movie, and it's still showing 100%. And uh, the iPad 2 is drawing 0.6 amps. Let's move it up a little bit. One point, you know what, let's, let me see if I keep the screen on. There we go. 1.25 amps on the standard. Let's go back to the quick charge. Put the screen on. Down to six again. So it doesn't seem like uh, the uh, quick charge port is giving me the full power for the iPad, but that's okay. So we put the iPad then um, at the very top. Yep, 1.25 amps on the standard port. All right, so let's just shove the iPad there. Now, uh, the iPad mini is flat dead. So let's see what the iPad mini gives us. 1.8 amps on the standard and 1 amp on the quick charge port. So let's put that there. Let's see. iPhone 6S, which is at a 50% charge, and it is drawing 1.4 amps. Now it's dropping down to 1. So let's see if I turn the screen on. Then it goes back up to 1.3 amps now. So let's try that on the quick charge. Sorry, this uh, my meter is a little little dim. Uh, that's drawing one amp on the quick charge. Uh, let's see, camcorder. It's got the big battery. This battery is completely drained. I made sure of that. Takes us a few seconds to power up, and that's at 1.37 amps, which is about right. Same thing on the quick charge. So it seems like my camcorder is taking the fastest charge on the on the quick charge port. Now I can state that Apple products are very finicky about where they're getting their power from. If it can't communicate properly with whatever device you're plugging into, and my, my little meter might be inter, um, interfering with that a little bit, uh, they will default down to their standard amperage of one amp. So let's, I'm gonna unplug these first. Okay, now this is kind of a, well, I want to 
octopus cable here you can charge uh, three different things at one time uh, so let's get cracking and uh, we'll start with the, uh, the 5s and that is at 89 percent and that is currently a lone drawing 0.9 amps uh, let's add the iPhone 4S. Now the 4S and the 5S, uh, 5S and below uh, can only charge at 1 amp or less. The 6 and higher can charge at up to 2 amp, although I found it's very rare. Okay, now we are drawing 1.3 amps and let's add the boombox to it now. Now the boombox never really charged at that much power, but there we go. Let's see. Voltage is down to five, and we're at 1.58 amps now. So we are currently charging one, two, three, four, five, six, seven devices on here. And let's see how much power we're actually drawing. Our total draw right now is 42 watt, 42.5 watts from the mains, and let's see, power factor 0.6, so it's a little on the low side for uh, efficiency, uh, but it is quite high power output. Uh, 70.3 volt amperes, wow, but 42.2 watts, so 0.6 amps. Still, we are doing all these things all at one time here. I would say not very bad at all. So rather impressive. Uh, now let's move on out to the camper and um, I'm going to mount this where I had planned and um, because this will go inside and this will be powering whatever devices I have that I would like to charge. See you out there. So as I said, I was going to use the USB charger in a teardrop travel trailer. So let's go take a little look inside here. And here we are. I have the uh, iPad mounted up and the Edge link and uh, basically how I had this mounted and it seems to be working just fine is I mounted a piece of plexiglass here cut to size and so I way I can use different suction mounts depending on uh, what I will be using so this mount works for pretty much any tablet and then uh, it also allows me to uh, secure the wires between the plexi and the wood backing and then I just have the edge link mounted right there um, I don't have it glued in I just have it uh, the power strip is holding it the mount for the power strip is holding uh, both the edge link and the power strip in so I got the iPad hooked up there which leaves me an easy one two three four more ports to plug in anything else I desire and uh, unfortunately I'm not getting internet in my garage too well here. Let's try YouTube. But uh, that doesn't really matter. Uh, but uh, so far I would uh, rate... Now I did play with the Angelink a bit before doing the review. And uh, so far it charged everything great. Um, and it seems to do exactly what it states it's going to do. So no complaints here. Except that my internet's not working out here in the garage. I'll have to put a repeater out there. Maybe modify my router with a bigger antenna. <laughs> That'll be fun. Maybe a nice big old nine decimal on there. But, uh, perfect. Lay down, you know, watch a little movie before bed, and charge my phones. Put my phones on the little pouches on the sides and uh, charge everything. I can charge my cameras, put my cameras inside the little uh, cabinet there, and uh, just 
plug them in. I'll be all set for the next day. So, not much else to say. I mean, it's a USB charger, it's a USB charger, and it, this is a pretty darn good one, if you ask me. So, I'm happy. And then I'll just bring my JDB instead of lugging around a laptop power supply when I need to use my laptop. I'll bring my JDB one and use that for my laptop and uh, whatever our peripherals I'm using at the time, like my thermal printer and whatnot. That should work just right. And this is comfy. I think I'm going to take a nap now. See you all later. Smile, cheese!